Hey, welcome back. We are in the book of Exodus, chapter 8, verses 8 to 12 this morning. We've had the first plague, we've had now the second plague, and there's frogs everywhere. Uh, one of the gods that the Egyptians worshipped was the frog goddess. And uh, now there's so many frogs that people can't hardly bear them. But let's see what happens next. And so we'll just read it straight out. Then Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron and said, Entreat the Lord that he remove the frogs from me and from my people, and I will let the people go that they may sacrifice to the Lord. Moses said to Pharaoh, The honor is yours to tell me. When shall I entreat for you and your servants and your people that the frogs be destroyed from you and your houses, that they may be left only in the Nile? Then he said, Tomorrow. So he said, May it be according to your word, that you may know that there is no one like the Lord our God. The frogs will depart from you and your houses and your servants and your people. They will be left only in the Nile. Then Moses and Aaron went out from Pharaoh, and Moses cried to the Lord concerning the frogs, which he had inflicted upon Pharaoh. Okay, we're going to just stop there. And so now this is a little bit different. Remember back, remember back in the beginning of, of these interviews with Pharaoh, Pharaoh said, well, who is your God that I should worship him? I don't know your God. Now he's saying, uh, Moses, listen, would you please pray to your God for me and my people? And I do like that about Pharaoh here. He's, it's not just about Pharaoh. It's not just about his stubbornness, although there's certainly plenty of that. But Pharaoh sees himself as also looking out for the good of the Egyptian people. So, you know, there's, there's, there's a, something in there that's, that's commendable, isn't there? Now he's asking, now he knows there's a God, and now he's asking Moses to ask God to relent. And so now we come to a spot here where different scholars say different things. Uh, some people say, well, yeah, now Moses one-ups him by asking him, when should I pray for this to happen? But I don't think that's what it is at all. That's not Moses one-upping. This is, this is actually a concession to Pharaoh. This is Moses saying, uh, you know, I'm going to let you save some, God wants Pharaoh to save face. Uh, some face, you know, I mean, God is busy humiliating Egypt, and in a sense, he's also definitely humiliating Pharaoh up to a point. But he's not here to destroy Pharaoh. We're going to be talking about that as we talk about the hardening of the heart in the days to come. But God's business isn't to destroy Pharaoh. He is going to sort of de, uh, de godify Pharaoh. You know, the, the Egyptians viewed Pharaoh himself as being a god, and he's being shown that he's just a regular guy like everybody else. So that's an important piece. Actually, this is my favorite piece of this particular uh, episode, is that Moses asked Pharaoh, when should I go ahead with this? And so he's, he's, I think he's doing a good thing for Pharaoh. Pharaoh turns around and says, okay, yeah, well, tomorrow. So it's in Pharaoh's power. And by the way, this also means that in the moment when the frogs begin to uh, decrease and, and God relents and sends the frogs away, Pharaoh's going to know it was at the very time he said it would be. That should be another indicator. And now, by the way, Pharaoh's kind of saying, yeah, pray to him. It's not that I don't know him. Uh, I'm beginning to know this God. And, and uh, yeah, would you please in intercede for me? This is kind of a different spirit than we've seen before. I don't think Pharaoh's, Pharaoh's not okay with it, but he's, um, he's, he's, he's coming along. He's becoming a very humbled God in Egypt. Hey, let's not forget that even Pharaoh is made in God's image. God wants to build up anything that's, that's positive and human-like in Pharaoh. So finally here in our segment, Moses goes out and he prays to God and God answers the prayer and right on time, you know, the frogs are going away. So let's see what happens tomorrow morning as we carry on. See you then. Hey, I just want to remind you, come and join us for a YouTube Live on Monday mornings at uh, 12 noon Eastern time. That's America Detroit time. Uh, we spend about a half hour here going over the devotionals for the week, interacting, answering any questions you have, talking about any videos we've put out there in the week. And uh, so, yeah, just a, a time together. Come and join us there in the YouTube Live at that time. All right. See ya.